Okay, so welcome to this next video on fluoroquinolones and coumarins. Okay, so we've discussed in the previous video the problem that bacteria have, which is this problem that their DNA is going to end up being positively supercoiled um, because of trans, well, because of enzymes such as RNA polymerase, but there are other reasons as well, but that's a nice example. Okay, so we have a bunch of enzymes which are designed basically to um, reduce the positive supercoiling of, um, of the DNA. And these are called DNA topoisomerases. DNA topoisomerases. And you can divide DNA topoisomerases into two broad groups. One is the type 1 DNA topoisomerases. So type 1 DNA topoisomerases, and the names of these can get quite confusing, as you'll see later when we start talking about DNA gyrase. Okay, so type 1 uh, DNA topoisomerases, uh, to oh dear, I missed off the merases. And I want to stress that these type 1 DNA topoisomerases and these type 2 DNA topoisomerases, they are not... Um, they are not an individual enzyme. DNA type 1 topoisomerase is not an enzyme. It is a whole family of enzymes. So there are loads of enzymes which are all type 1 DNA topoisomerases. And similarly, there are loads of enzymes which are type 2 DNA topoisomerases. So I want to describe what each of these does and how it's different from each other, how they're different from each other, basically. Okay, so let's begin with type 1 DNA topoisomerases, uh, which isn't the type that fluoroquinolones actually act on, but to give you a bit of background knowledge. Okay, so let's say our DNA is supercoiled. So let's draw a piece of DNA here. And let's say it's got too many twists in. So what we need to do is remove one of those twists, basically. Uh, well, what we need to do is remove some of the twists, at least. So, basically, a DNA type 1 topoisomerase, let's draw it here, is going to come along. So, let's say this is our DNA type 1 topoisomerase. So, this is our type 1 DNA topoisomerase enzyme. And what it's going to do is it's going to come along and it's going to cut one of these DNA strands. And I want to emphasize it cuts one of these strands of DNA. It does not cut both. So it produces a single strand break. So let's say it cuts there, okay, uh, like so. And what it's going to do basically is it's then going to uncoil this. So it's going to bring this round here and then uncoil it and remove a single coil from the DNA basically. So it's going to relieve one coil from the DNA. Uh, so the DNA, what it does is it cuts the DNA, then it f loops the strand around the other strand, removes a single coil, and then it will re-ligate uh, the DNA back to the DNA strand that it's cut back together, basically. So let me draw this. So I'll draw the DNA again. Okay, and. Let's say the way it is coiled is the same way as I've drawn here. So imagine these two are fixed at the bottom. I have nailed them together, uh, well, nailed them onto the page, and that I have coiled these two strands in that way. I've brought this one round and this one like that, basically. Okay, so this one I coiled in this direction. So, uh, da, da, da. wait, has it done? done? There it is, going round like that. Then it comes round. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here, let's say. So that means that I will get two strands like that, if you like. Okay. Uh, da, 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 like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this in the opposite direction to the way I originally threaded it. So it will go round this other DNA strand once. This DNA strand here. It will go round that one once, and then what I'll do is I'll re-ligate it to that other free end. And that is how DNA type 1 topoisomerases work to remove um, uh, a coil, basically. And some of them, some of them, it, I want to say some of them um, will, ha will uh, remove more than one coil at once, i.e. they'll keep 
unwinding it and they might you know relieve two coils or three and that would be known as the linker number of the type 1 DNA type isomerase, i.e. how many coils it removes every time it um, cuts the DNA, basically. But some of most of them will be uh, minus 1, basically. It will remove one coil. And you can even have topi isomerases which do the opposite, i.e. they add coils in, i.e. their linker number is positive. They're going to add coils in. And that would be uh, necessary if you, you're negatively supercoiled, basically. Okay, so those are type 1 DNA topo isomerases. So now let's discuss type 2 DNA topo isomerases, and we'll turn over the page for this. Right, so type 2 DNA topo isomerases. The difference between type 1 and type 2 is that type 1 only cut a single strand. Type 2 are going to cut both strands, basically. So let's say here is our DNA, here is our um, type 2 topo isomerase enzyme here. Okay, so let's say this is our type 2 DNA topo isomerase enzyme. Okay, and basically what it does is it cuts both strands of the DNA, and then, uh, so I'll show it cutting both strands of the DNA, it then forms a transient complex. So let's show this here. So we'll say the DNA topo isomerase is going to cut here, basically, along there. Okay, so it cuts both strands, it then sort of forms a temporary complex with the DNA where it holds these two strands here, and then it holds the DNA below as well, like this. Okay, and then what it does is it will undo a twist, basically. So, it will now undo a twist, so let's show it undoing a twist, so you'll want to remove a single twist, so let's say it's now this here. Okay, so it twists around, basically, the enzyme, and below it's still the same. Okay, so this enzyme's linker number is negative 1, i.e. it's removed a single twist. Some of them may remove more twists, i.e. their linker numbers may be minus 2, minus 3. Some of them may even add twists, or coils, whatever you want to call them. And um, those will um, have, a, um, have a positive linker number. Okay, and now what it will do is it will re-ligate those two strands together, like so. And now you've got a DNA which is less supercoiled, basically. It's reduced the positive supercoiling. Okay, and that's the activity of type 2 DNA topoisomerases. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. We'll continue our discussion in the next video where we'll see how fluoroquinolones actually act.